everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. Something a lot of my clients don't understand is that they can accept and enter partial payments on invoices. In this economy, partial payments are better than no payments. So let's go ahead and dive in. You can enter a partial customer payment in QuickBooks Online using the receive payment form. This allows you to locate the outstanding invoice, enter the required details such as the customer and the partial payment amount, and then apply the partial payment. You can also make partial payments to vendors using the pay bill screen. This allows you to locate the bill you wish to pay partially and enter the partial payment amount. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make partial payments on invoices in QuickBooks Online, as well as how to record partial payments to vendors. Click on the add new icon in the upper left hand corner of your QuickBooks Online dashboard and then select Receive Payment under the Customers column. In the Receive Payment form, select the name of the customer who made the partial payment. QuickBooks will display a list of outstanding transactions associated with that customer. To record the partial payment, select the customer. Next, click on the checkbox next to the invoice for which you want to record a partial payment. And then enter the partial payment amount in the payment field. Once done, click save and close. If no invoice was issued prior to receiving the partial payment, you do need to create a new invoice and then apply the partial payment. You can revisit my guide on invoicing customers in QuickBooks Online if you need help doing so. Additionally, don't forget to enter the other details, such as the payment date and the payment method, such as check, credit card, or cash, and the account where you want to deposit the payment. If you need a refresher on how to record payments in QuickBooks Online, see my guide on how to receive payments in QuickBooks Online. You can tell that a partial payment is successfully applied when you see a partially paid remark under the status column of the invoice. You can send an invoice reminder to your customer so that they see the breakdown of the invoice, including the applied partial payment. To send a reminder, locate the invoice, click on the drop down arrow next to receive payment, and then select send reminder. When the customer pays the remaining balance, you can click on Receive Payment again. Enter the remaining balance in the Receive Payment form, and then save the transaction. QuickBooks will allocate the payment automatically to the remaining balance and mark the invoice as paid. While you can view the remaining balance of a specific customer right from the invoice, you can run a customer balance summary report to track the outstanding amounts for all customers. To do this, click on reports in the left hand navigation panel and then locate the customer balance summary report. Run the report to view the customer's remaining balance in the total column. At the bottom of the report, you'll see the total outstanding balance for all customers combined. Stay tuned for part two on how to partially pay a vendor bill. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. 
If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.